What's going on guys? My name is RJ and today we're going to be doing this really cool water environment design animation in Blender. It's uh, really easy to do. Uh, I kind of got the inspiration from Tokyo Ghoul opening with a mixture of Life of Pi. But yeah, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It really helps me out. And if you don't want to go through the tutorial and just want to download the blend file, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can download it for a dollar on Gumroad. But yeah, let's get started. Shift A, plane. Now credits to Toby Rawal. I'm going to be using his method to create our ocean. Uh, it's the simplest method that I found and it only requires four vertices. So yeah, hit S on your keyboard, then eight and then enter. Okay, next uh, control A, apply scale. Then let's go to our shading tab. We can collapse these windows, we don't need these. Then hit new material, we'll call it water. Then shift A, bump node. Connect the bump node to the normal, right down here. Shift A again, Musgrave. Connect the height to the height. Okay, we're kind of getting something here. Let's just add a camera real quick to set up our composition. So Shift A, camera. Let's go view, active camera. And let's just zero these out. So make this 90, make this zero. You can move this up a little bit like that. And we'll actually move it back. So let's just make this 10. Make this zero, uh, not zero, nine, 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go, 90 degrees. Okay, nice. Let's just move it up a bit. We'll actually make the value 0 0.61. All right, go back to your plane. Let's just name it water. There we go. And let's just change up the values here. So we'll make the strength 0 0.1. We'll increase the metallic here, increase that. Then we will make the scale 107.2. You can adjust it however you want, but this is how I want my ocean to look like. Make the detail 15. Make the, I don't even know how to say this, lucinarity, lucinarity. Make that 0 0.2 and make the dimension 0 0.8. Now go to edit, go to preferences and just make sure the, just make sure the node wrangler add-on is enabled and also make sure image as planes add-on is enabled. Now just go on your Musgrave texture right here, hit control T to add in a mapping and texture coordinate. Um, if your viewport's slowing down, you can adjust the settings here by going and changing this to like five and you can just uncheck mark this decrease the roughness here to almost zero and there you go we got our water you can also change the color make it blue or whatever you want it to be something like that now go back to layout and let's add in our background go to file import image as planes now i got this image from uh, pexels.com it's a sky image you can get whatever sky image you want but yeah this is the image i'm using so make sure it's emitting so just go on emit 1.4 is good enough for me you don't want it to emit too much like import image let's go back to our camera view and let's move it back let's just see what it looks like first off We'll call it backdrop, so name it here. Backdrop. Uh, let's move it back. This, just move it. Or you can use the transformation settings right here. Let's do minus 26. Let's do 0 0.27, 2.79. And we'll increase the scale over here to 14.3. All right, next, let's add in our character. Now you can go to Mixamo.com and download any character selection that they have. I'm gonna use the Y bot here and you can just go on animations, type in sitting. We're gonna be using this one right here, sitting idle. Just hit download, make it 24 FPS and make sure it's FBX. Then you can just hit download. 
once you've downloaded and saved it, go on File, Import, FBX, go to our wherever you saved it, Import FBX, and it's facing the wrong way, so just hit RZ90, and it'll face the right way this time. We're going to make the animation 120 frames. Let's just change that to 120 frames. Now let's add some lighting. So let's go back to shading view. Let's go to our render view. So click render right here. And you see that our lighting is absolutely terrible. But we're going to fix that by going to our world shading tab. And we're going to add in something called a sky texture. We'll change that to this second option right here. Plug that into the background like that. And now we got a sky in the back. Just increase the ground albedo, 0 0.845. You can also mess around with this right here. Change up the lighting direction. It's however you want it to be, but I like how it looks right now. Change that to one. Let's go to our render settings and just turn on ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. Go back to layout, go back to render view. Let's add in some more lighting. So shift A, add in a sunlight. G, Z, move it up above our subject. Go to your lighting, change the strength to eight. You can move, you can mess around with the rotation. Hit R, Y, and then you can just move it forward like this. See how it gives this nice highlight sparkle in the water? Makes it look way more realistic. Shift A, add in a area light. And again, we'll just move it a little bit above our subject. Just to give him some more lighting. Maybe increase the power to 50 watts. I like that. Now we need to add some movement. So, again, let's start with the water. Let's go to our shading tab, click your water, go back to object, and let's just add some movement. Bring up our timeline, so drag up like this, and switch to your timeline. Let's add in a keyframe, so right click, insert keyframe, go to the end, and we'll change this to minus 0 0.08, and we'll also change the Z to minus 0 0.08. Right click, insert keyframe. And now, it's a bit laggy, but you can see some movement there. And after you render out, you'll see movement. Again, it's subtle movement. If you want it to be faster, you can increase the values here, but I like how it is. So let's go back to layout. Let's go back to our solid view. Select your camera, go to frame one, and we'll move the camera closer to our subject. Adjust the X location, move it all the way to the face. Zero point, something like right here is good. It's 0 0.33. Then just hit right click, insert keyframe, and then we'll go all the way to frame 120, and we will move it back to 10 meters, like that. Then just hit right, right click, insert keyframe, and boom. Now we have our camera animated like that. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, go back to your plane. Uh, select your plane or your water. Go to your timeline. Hit A on your keyboard. Select all the keyframes. Right click and change the interpolation mode to linear so that the animation is just constant. Let's adjust the depth of field. So go to your, go to your camera, check mark depth of field, then go on focus on and make sure you're focused on your armature. This one right here like that. And you can make the f-stop like 1.5. So you have a nice blurry background. You can see the feet here are a bit off. He's not fully touching the water, so we can just move him down like this. Also, if you want to adjust his feet, you can uh, select your armature, go to pose mode, select this part of the feet right here, go to side view, go to your bone properties, and let's just click A and delete everything. And we'll just move it down. So R, Y, let's move it down. Again, make sure it's selected so it moves. 
to render it out, just go on to your render settings. Again, make sure everything is check marked here. Go to color management, change this look to very high contrast. Go to output, save it to where you want to save it. I'm going to save it. Just go desktop, accept, change that to FF MPEG video, change the encoding to MP4 and you should be good to go. Then just hit render animation. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more future tutorials like this. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys later. Peace.